Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Fallout 4 running on the GeForce MX150 uh, paired with a Core i5-8250U processor, and we're running this at 1080p on... It's not quite the medium preset, I've tweaked down some of the details just to um, try and improve frame rates a little bit because the MX150 doesn't have a huge amount of memory bandwidth, so just reducing the texture detail slightly um, and one or two other little settings like anti-aliasing. But the game looks pretty reasonable on this uh, kind of setup. Um, and frame rates weren't too bad either. We're consistently over 30 frames per second. Um, obviously a lot of people like to see that closer to 60. Um, or consistently over 60 I should say. And if that's the case you could certainly compromise the, um, the resolution that the game's running at or some of the detail settings. So perhaps dropping down to 720p and maintaining the medium detail settings or um, staying at 1080p and bring that down to low uh, or similar. But overall, um, I think any sort of MX150 equipped laptop is probably going to cope with this. Um, I've not seen the chip paired up with much lower than sort of an i5-7200U, um, and that's not going to have any issues. You know, it's not going to be significantly different to this quad-core 8th gen chip. In some respects, it may even slightly better, depending on how the game engine is optimised. Um, but a, a reasonable experience. I wouldn't have any qualms with playing the game on this setup, although it may not be the sort of 60 frames per second some people target. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do be sure to let me know what you thought of it and what other videos you'd like to see us making with this chip as we'll be testing more games in the future. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching. Motherfucker! You have a fight? Huh?